Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's Dude here, and today we're back with another setup video. This time we're going to be doing the N300 for GT40. This is specifically for the Road to GT7 Championship event. Um, obviously the Road to GT7 is not a long one. There are four rounds coming up in this particular series, and I'll be making a setup for pretty much all of them. Obviously the cart one, you can't tune the cart, so I may leave that one out. Otherwise, I'm really excited to bring you guys these setups. And yeah, it's going to be great. Now, I'm not particularly good with uh, cars that have sports tires on them. In fact, I'm around six tenths off the pace, which is definitely undesirable from my perspective and definitely not my best work. However, there was another AMS member that was able to manage a better time than me. In fact, he did have the world record. Um, at the point in time I'm recording this, I think he's second in the world right now, but he says there's another tenth in it. Um, so yeah, this is a tune that is capable of achieving a world record and I think you guys will really really enjoy it for this race as it balances a good amount of stability with also raw pace and cornering ability. I obviously don't want to make the intro too long, but if you guys enjoy this setup and or the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Obviously subscribing helps me out a lot. I also want to say thank you guys for 1000 subscribers. I know to some people it's not a massive amount, but to me it's a really really big deal. I didn't get to say this in the previous video because it was recorded weeks in advance, but thank you guys so much. So without further ado, let's get into the setup. So here we are in the Ford GT40 setup. Um, honestly, this setup was definitely weird for me to figure out. It took me a lot more time to figure out the optimal setup for this car because like I said, I'm not really necessarily the best driver with this car. Obviously to a lot of people, being able to get a leaderboard time is, is nothing to be scoffed at, but it did take me a little bit of fine tuning to get the car exactly where I wanted it to be. Um, as you can see, the ride height is actually all the way up on both, which is very interesting to monster truck the car the way I did it here. Um, I'm going to recommend a setup adjustment. Uh, if you end up driving this setup and you find the setup to be a little bit unstable, I recommend lowering the ride height in the rear. This is more of a setup adjustment for more novice users if you have a hard time controlling the car. And I never thought I'd see the day where I'm recommending reverse rake on a car, but here it is. Beyond that, the rest of the setup is decently predictable. Uh, the natural frequency uh, is definitely something that you can mess around with as well in the front. Uh, I would leave the rear the way it is, but otherwise there's nothing else really to say about this part of the setup. Now scrolling down to the transmission, now the gearing on this car is very important as this V8 is not a very torquey V8. You want to rev the beans out of it definitely all the way to the fuel cutoff and that's where you're going to end up finding the most pace. So to demonstrate what this tune is capable of, I have a lap here from AMS Brock. At the time of recording this voiceover, uh, he does no longer has the world record, but he still has the regional record in the Americas. So yeah, check this setup out. Uh, he says there's around a tenth in it, and when you watch the lap, you're actually going to see a very specific place where he could have gained some time. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into the lap. So here we are loading up the lap here at South Inner Loop. Um, AMS Brock, uh, he actually is very deliberate in this first corner with his inputs. Uh, breaks right in between the 70, or sorry, the 50 and the 100. Gets off the brake immediately and gets a really, really good exit. No trail braking to be done from Brock. Very deliberate with his input there. Um, now, there is a bit of a strategy here coming up in this next braking zone in the hairpin at the end of the track where you can grind the wall to gain some time. I see some top guys doing that, but I don't advise you do that because you look like a bit of a dirtbag, unfortunately. But Brock breaks right before the 150, gets the car turned in, stays in second gear. Not a lot of torque down in second gear, but you could feather the throttle, keep the car nice and stable, get your line perfect. And tries to exit full speed, taps the wall, which is kind of crazy that this was the world record. Um, still second in the world as we speak with that wall tap. Um, Brock was again was saying there's about a tenth of a second in this lap, at least. Um, probably a little more if you do the wall grind. So coming down the big straight here, he actually really nailed that last corner, which leads him well down this straight. Now when a car with no downforce, these corners are significant on this straight. Usually with a car with downforce, they can just eats it up and it's not a problem. But when you have a car like this, especially with tire wear, and then if you're in the draft, like in the race, you got to be weary that you got to line these up semi-properly in order to get through there. Break right before the 150. You definitely don't want to overshoot this braking zone. You could lose a ridiculous amount of time. But Brock takes it like a champ, immediately commits back to the throttle. Again, this car doesn't have too much torque low in the rev, so no issues with wheel spin, even on the sports medium tires. And 
and Brock coming up to the final sector here to fourth gear briefly. Carries fourth gear right into third. Again, very deliberate with his throttle and his brake inputs. Knows what he's doing, is confident. Into the last corner, sticks it in third. Stays in third with a beautiful exit. And coming to the line here, this was at the time a world record, now it's second in the world. And it's pretty awesome to see Brock out here running these types of laps and it gives you a good demonstration of what this tune is capable of. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Every single one of these rounds I'm going to be coming out with a setup. So you guys should click the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay tuned to make sure that you don't miss another setup video. The road to GT7 is a short one, but you want to make sure that you come prepared to these races as they are tuning races, of course. And uh, that happens to just be my specialty. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. It's been real. I hope you guys have a good night. I'm out. Peace.